Hi, and welcome back to lesson two. We're going to be looking at the present simple around, and, and the topic of the lesson is around the city. Okay, so the type of language we're going to use is in the present tense, and around the city, uh, this is about um, where, where you normally go in your city, uh, what you normally do, what is there to do in your city, and here, I just want to make it clear that I wrote about uh, where I'm from, which is St. Clair Lange. It's a small little town, about 10,000 people. And of course, there isn't 101 things to do, so you have to create things, okay? So I've made a huge text, and you have to fill it out. And in the bottom, you have the answer key. And what are you going to do with this information? After you've done this exercise, you could do it in pairs, but I'd rather if you do it alone, just for this uh, specific exercise, so you can read, you can think about it, and after you finish, you're going to communicate with your partner or well, next door person, okay? <laughs> and you're going to be communicating to get, uh, to one another about what is uh, what you normally do around your city using the present tense, okay? So don't use like, oh, I went. No, I will go. No, so it'll look, you know, this is what I do normally, usually, on Fridays, on Saturdays. So make sure you are using present tense so you can practice it. After it, we have some questions that you can ask one another. Number one, what places have you been to? Two, where would you like to, uh, where would you like to go? Uh, number three, what, uh, what places have you seen, which is similar to one? Number four, what places haven't you seen or been to? Number five, what do you like about your city? What would you change about your city? Okay, and then next page, I have a little reminder of the how to use the present simple. Um, so don't forget the third person, for example, uh, he, she, and it, it, it always changes. So here the first verb, I come, you come, he comes, she comes, it comes, okay? You come, we come, they come. So don't forget that. So for he, she, and it, it always changes. So come, become, comes, becomes, comes. <laughs> Have, has, like, likes, take, takes, play, plays, watch, watches, party, parties, um, enjoy, enjoys, cry, cries, joke, jokes, understand, understands. Okay. And then after it, you can ask some questions um, to each other. Uh, so here we have two kind of questions. What do you and your friends normally do on weekends? And two, in your opinion, what is the best place to go to in your city town? And then you can give some directions as well. So for example, if someone's coming to you and he doesn't or she doesn't know where to go, what to do, uh, you can give them directions, okay? This is just for you to practice your, pr your present uh, conversation as well, your simple present conversation on giving directions. So here is some language which I'm going to help you with. You have go straight ahead, go past, after, turn left, turn right and cross. So for example, turn left on the pharmacy, uh, turn right on the next corner, uh, go straight uh, on the main street. Okay, so here's just some examples on how you can give directions using the present symbol. And of course, there is some prepositions for you to remember it. So you have continue straight for about five minutes, on the corner, turn right, three streets after the library, blah, blah, blah. So you can use that as well when you're giving directions. And you have one more exercise, which is two things. Number one, explain to a lost tourist how to get from point A to point B and give clear directions. Number two, advise, advise the last tourist the risks in your city, what he or she needs to look out for, or needs to know. And, and then the last questions, uh, are there any tourists in your city? What is your city famous for? And what is the closest city next to yours, okay? And then just to conclude, if you have time, you can play a little game called I Spy. Uh, what do you do? You go outside the door, everybody together, and then you just play, you know, for example, I spy, some, you know, I spy with my little eye, something beginning with C. And you think C, what do I see with C? Oh, a car, a cattle, I don't know. <laughs> 
anything that begins with C and then you can, you know, it's just a little play just so you can finish off the class. All right, um, I hope that helps. And I'll be with you on lesson three for apology adjectives, okay? So I'll see you soon on lesson three. Bye-bye.